Britain is poised to become the first country in the world to allow a controversial technique that produces embryos with DNA from three different people. The procedure is supposed to prevent mothers from passing on genetic disorders such as muscular dystrophy and heart disease. Critics say it's unethical. So could this procedure be done here in Canada? Ross Lord reports. By all accounts, the research underway at top-level British laboratories is a noble pursuit, preventing babies from inheriting rare genetic diseases from their mothers. And what we're trying to do is trying to prevent the transmission from mother to child. For a woman with the cell disorder that leads to the diseases, scientists would take only healthy DNA from her egg or embryo, then transfer it into a donor egg or embryo that still has its healthy properties, but has had the rest of its key DNA removed. The fertilized embryo is then moved into the womb of the mother. You want the best for your child, and if they can stop these genetics, and like hereditary genetic conditions being passed on, that's all well and good. That. Also in favor is Britain's top doctor. We're not trying to change how people are. We're not touching the nuclear DNA, which comes from both parents, makes us look as we are, act as we are, be as we are. This would be a step that we have not as a species, in other words, as humanity taken before. But this medical ethicist in Halifax doesn't like it. She argues against spending millions of tax dollars on a problem that affects very few, especially when there are other ways of creating families. I don't think it's a project that is worth pursuing relative to the goals that have been identified as the reasons to go forward. There's some backlash in Britain too, from those who say messing with mother nature will lead to big trouble. Once we cross that line, we will inevitably, step by step, slowly, slowly, uh, we'll get to that future that everybody wants to avoid of, uh, of the genetically modified design of babies and a, and a market in, in, in children. There's no movement in Canada to follow the UK's lead. It's currently illegal in both countries to modify DNA if the changes can be passed on through generations. But British lawmakers are working on draft guidelines and a parliamentary debate next year as the UK edges toward making medical history. Ross Lohr, Global News, Halifax.